Hello on this day. So glad you've all taken time to tune in. I know a lot of you have come from church or are going to church. So thank you for watching this. I appreciate you. And if you're here for the first time, welcome. So we have some breaking news, courtesy of HarpersBazaar.com. And as you can see by the title of this video, the article says, after months of speculation and breathless tabloid reports, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have officially received an invite for King Charles's coronation. A spokesperson for Harry and Meghan confirmed to Bazaar.com that the couple have, quote, recently received email correspondence from the monarch's Buckingham Palace household regarding the May event. Adds their representative, quote, an immediate decision on whether the Duke and Duchess will attend will not be disclosed by us at this time, end quote. The Sussexes had kept details of the correspondence private, but confirmed receipt after a royal aide briefed Britain's Times of London on Saturday that an invitation had been sent out. Although the coronation will take place on May the 6th, there will be three days of events making up a long celebratory weekend in the UK. The coronation ceremony of King Charles and Camilla, the Queen Consort, will take place at Westminster Abbey on Saturday. The following day, we'll see a coronation concert take place at Windsor Castle. And on Monday, May the 8th, a public holiday, the coronation big lunch will take place across the country where members of the public are encouraged to volunteer and share food and fun, in quotes, together. Earlier this week, King Charles' decision to evict the Sussexes from their official UK residence and offer the keys to Andrew dominated the headlines. And I want to interject here and say that, according to other reports, the Sussexes received notice. I think it was either a day after Spare was released, so it, they've known for a while. The article goes on to say the monarch has given until after his coronation to vacate the Frogmore Cottage, a move which compromises the couple's security when staying in the country as the Windsor estate is currently the only place they have access to official royal police protection. Today, May the 4th, Mail reports claimed that Harry's father will offer the use of Buckingham Palace apartment or rooms at St. James's Palace as a, quote, olive branch when the family visits Britain in the future. A royal source, however, told Bazaar that the tabloid story is, quote, speculative. So there we have it, a quick update, and I want to know your thoughts on this news that Prince Harry and Duchess Meghan have received their official invites to the coronation. In my opinion, I always knew that they would be invited. It is Charles's big day. I mean, how many days is someone crowned a king? I think despite all of the situations that this family has had, I think he was always going to invite Prince Harry and Meghan. So this is a quick plug here for a video that I gave a couple of months ago on the Duke and Duchess of Sussex attending the coronation and what you will expect them to wear. I know that they have not confirmed a yes or no, but uh, if you want to know what will be required of them in terms of their garb, in terms of all the other people who will be invited, please check out that video and share your thoughts with me on this news. So there will also be a poll running with this video. Do you think it will be safe for Harry and Meghan to go to the coronation, especially now as we've learned that they are currently in the process of being evicted from Frogmore. And as this article has so clearly pointed out that that is the place that they have which guarantees them security when they are staying in the UK. And as we all know, Prince Harry right now through the courts is pursuing official police protection while in the UK. He has even offered to pay out of pocket. So there we have the news. Quite interesting that they've had to put out this statement in response to that um, briefing by someone who briefed the Times. And it's also noteworthy that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have really been keeping a lid on their plans. They haven't been letting a lot out, and as we all know, from the Sussex side, there are no leaks. They have quite a close-knit group around them, and I'm sure right now that they have been in the process of strategizing on how to go about this whole coronation, and first and foremost, ensuring that they have adequate security detail. So a question to you, if they do choose to go, do you think they will go with the babies, with Archie and Lilibet? Do you think that 
there will be any place for them at that ceremony or do you think that Charles might want to see his grandchildren? I would like to know your thoughts on that and I'd like to reiterate here that it has been important for Harry to pursue police protection for his family because he wants his kids to be immersed in their British culture. That is very important to him. I know a lot of people uh, tend to say, you know, he should just, you know, forge forward and forget his past, but that's not what he's going to do. That's why he is actively right now in a court action for security while they are in the UK. So that is very important to him. I know he wants Archie and Lilibet to have that understanding of their background and their rich heritage on both sides you know his mom and his dad remember his mother comes from an aristocratic family as well so there is that family link he wants them to have and also of I mean, of course on his dad's side despite the relationship issues that they've been having and the culture there in the UK you know Harry has had an issue and it's mostly been with the tabloids and you know how they have misrepresented him and his wife but the country in and of itself he loves the UK he loves the lifestyle there he loves the whole culture there and you know the whole and it also reminds me of the time he spoke about getting Archie a rugby ball he does want those kids to be immersed in all things UK and British so always keep that in mind so I want to know your thoughts. Do you think he will bring the children over? Um, Lilibet is a bit young, but Archie right now can understand some things. So I want to know your thoughts on that. There are so many moving parts on how the Sussexes have been treated, but I do think at the end of the day, they will place their security first. So share your thoughts. Do you think Prince Harry and Meghan will be safe if they go to the coronation. I want to know your thoughts. There will be a poll running. I love you all. Have a great weekend wherever you are. Thank you for watching this quick update and a special thank you to those who support this channel financially. I want to give a couple of shout outs to you. A special thank you right now to Maggie Jackson who's been a long time supporter of this channel. Thank you so much for your comments and for your love and your giving. I truly love you. Thank you to Patricia Lane. Patricia, you are so sweet and dear and generous i want to say thank you thank you for choosing to support this channel and another thank you to patricia benjamin as well patricia god bless you you have been truly kind and so open in your heart and in your giving i want to say thank you and a thank you to henrietta palmer as well henrietta god bless you you truly mean so much to me and I appreciate all the ways that you boost this channel. A special thank you now to those who gave during the last live. Thank you to Carol Lund, who as well is a supporter on this channel. Thank you, thank you. And another special thank you to Mama Jane for your giving during the live. I want to say I appreciate that and I appreciate you. God bless you all so much. I feel so blessed to know you all. Once again, leave your thoughts on this news in the comment section below and share on whether you think it's a good idea for the Sussexes to attend as well. I want to know all your thoughts. Have a great day where you are and remember to watch the video on expectations of the guests at the coronation as well as what Prince Harry and Meghan will be wearing. Link will be at the end screen and in the cards. Thank you all for watching and if you liked this video, kindly give it a thumbs up, click that subscribe button and share. It does help out the channel and let YouTube know you enjoyed what you watched. Have a great day and I will catch you all in the next one. Have a blessed one.